Hello Aquarius, welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading for who you may be dealing with and what they're up to. Or if you're interested in more tarot readings after this, go ahead and check out my wife's channel, Inval53 Tarot, she's a review as well. Thank you. I'll be starting by pulling your current or overall energy. And then we'll be going into clarifiers. Okay, I'll get the cards out first, and then I'll begin. Hmm. Hmm. Wow, oh, okay. that what's that about what's that for possibly that we'll see excuse me excuse me Curious as to that though, if, if that's showing up, then why is that showing up? <laughs> so it's like it's, it's, for some reason, Aquarius, it's I get the overall message of don't ruin a good thing, don't ruin a good thing when you have a good thing. Um, that kind of carries its own weight, I feel. Don't ruin a good thing when you have a good thing, either have a good thing or have a good thing going. Um, enjoy what you have while you have it. I agree. Jumping into this, regarding their situation, something here is clearly destined or fated to take place. Whatever's changing in their situation, I do see they are up and ready to take action and make some type of movement. Whatever's going on, they're ultimately showing me that they are highly emotionally invested in the situation. At the same time, I'm a little curious as to what their possible plan or strategy is. Um, and what they're kind of thinking. I, I do see, unfortunately, Fortunately, this may be around the living situation or home. Um, it almost feels like, what are they considering? What are they really up to? Is this genuine, authentic plan? Or is this like a strategy for the sake of some type of personal gain? I'm not too sure, but whatever's going on, they're resting and they're definitely focused on making changes for themselves, which I do see that these changes may actually bring in some type of financial abundance. At the same time, there is something here of consideration of possibly maybe something they used to do, maybe something they were connected to, maybe they just are looking for some type of passion to kind of follow through with. I don't exactly know, but one thing is for sure, they're definitely going to be persistent moving forward with the situation, even though it is affecting them the way it is. Let's go ahead and jump into clarifiers, see what we can find. a real fine line a real fine line of how to do something <laughs> oh wow oh wow um <laughs> what did i say don't ruin a good thing when you have it um <laughs> Wow. Here's the thing, though, Aquarius. Um, <laughs> they're, they're kind of saying they're just a little bit meh about it. <laughs> it's sort of like things are changing in your favor. Things are, you know, life is taking place. And they're, they're kind of like, I, I'm not too sure how I feel about this, even though it's sort of like they, they want to be happy. They want to be excited. They're, they're also kind of like, um, are they really, though, um, <laughs> based off of, you know, what they're kind of working with? Are they really, though? kind of leave it up to question i kind of feel like they're emotionally undecided huh 
Uh, okay. Huh, I feel like they may be approaching you for the sake of trying to figure out actually what to do. I feel like that. I feel like it. I feel like they want to approach you for like, hey, do you have any ideas? And this isn't some type of energy of like a collaborative energy. It's just an energy of like, um, is it like words of advice or a little bit of guidance? I don't exactly know. Um, but I kind of feel like they definitely want to make a, <laughs> they, they want to make some type of movement that puts them in this energy of feeling a little bit more confident within themselves. And if that's asking you for what to do, then like, hey, just try this or do that. I don't know. The magician coming out. Yeah. It's like, okay, well, think about it. <laughs> think about what you want to do. <laughs> yeah, put your heart into it. Think about what you want to do and put your heart into it. I could say put your heart and soul into it. That's another way. Um, yeah, it's definitely regarding a vision. That's for sure. Um, yeah, the, like I said, there's communication here between the two of you. There's communication between the two of you. Um, and I'm not too sure exactly, but it's almost like they're coming to you, Aquarius, with some type of plan. Um, and that's what's fascinating is it's almost like you're giving them advice, like, hmm, just think about it. And then all of a sudden they think about it and they kind of come up with some sort of possible plan or strategy. And they're like, hey, now I want to kind of communicate and talk about this a little bit more about how I'm feeling about this and what this could, in a sense, lead to. Or what do you think of it? What do you feel about this? Yeah, yeah. This is definitely a living situation. This is definitely, you guys, you guys are together somehow. Um, whether it be work related or whether it be, you know, romantically, I don't exactly know. You guys are clearly close enough to where <laughs> there's this type of communication where it doesn't show up as collaborative. That's for sure. It's like, Hey, I just got this to say, like, we're not really working with other, working with each other. We're just talking. We're just talking. Yeah. Interesting though. They're kind of saying that they're, they're kind of just hanging out at home saying, well, Things with work and finances will eventually work out. It's interesting, though. They're saying that at the same time. They're also saying that they also know that they need to make changes. So you can't exactly just sit around all day. There's something to do. Yeah. Like a, yeah, yeah. Like I said, it's an energy of what to do, what to do, what to do. Um... Jeez, geez, that's an energy of, wow, to see that and to feel that, to see that and to feel that, um, they're showing me that they're willing to make changes, they just don't know if they're going to get the financial recognition from it that they're expecting, or like, is, do they feel like these changes that they're making aren't good enough, or isn't good enough, or won't make it, or what? what is it? Um, money, money, money. So, oh, geez, 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 this is fascinating. Um, what is that called? What is that called? I'm not going to go there. They have what they have, but they, at the same time, they're also saying, um, hmm. it's again, it's almost like it's, it's, it's interesting. It's interesting. It's almost as if it's the equivalent to they'd rather just hold on to what they currently have. And it's kind of like saying, well, if you're just holding on so tightly to what you currently already have, how are you going to open up and receive what you may want? Wow. 
Yeah, yeah. And that's, they're a little bit on the fence here with what they emotionally want to do. Um, they're like, ah, well, I've considered this, I'm considered that, I'm good at this, I'm good at that, I'm good. But over the years, I've done this, 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 and this. Um, at the same time, again, I'm not too sure exactly what their process is. They just keep showing me that it's like reconsider, 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 replan, re-strategize, reconsider, look again, check again. I don't know what's going on, but apparently they have a process of wanting to gain perspective on everything. And it's like, okay. There we go. There we go. Sagittarius on top of the deck. Um, yeah, they're showing up. They, again, they're showing up tired, exhausted, but yet also at the same time saying, okay, I guess I'll put together and work on something here. Um, okay, that's, that's uh, well, that's something. But of course, if you are dealing with anyone, we do have Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, and Sagittarius coming out. Goodbye.